Since 1935, Eleanor Roosevelt, wife of the US President, had been writing a newspaper column headed My Day. It was with this in mind that Lieutenant Phil Camilla, skipper of the B-17, named his aircraft. Through rough and darkening skies on December the 30th, 1943, the badly damaged My Day was clawing its way back to England from a bombing mission. As it crossed the English Channel, it became apparent that the plane would not make it. It actually flew over the southern coast, but in spite of attempts from the ground to punch the low, thick cloud with a beam from a searchlight, the flying fortress turned back to ditch in the sea just clear of the Isle of Wight. All crew members managed to clear the aircraft before it sank, but six were swept away and lost. The other four scrambled aboard a rubber dinghy and, after many hours of being drenched by the icy sea, were picked up by a rescue boat. Many years later, a fishing boat snagged its nets on an old aircraft propeller. Initially, it was believed to be from B-17 My Day. The bent prop was saved and cleaned by Jeff Stanton, an aviation enthusiast. It led him to research its background and he discovered that John Mont was still alive and well. Contact was made and soon John Mont, with his wife Betty and daughter Joni, flew to England to see the relic. I had already been honoured to paint a picture of my day and collate the story from John Mont's memories. I met him at the Sandown Air Show which commemorated the 60th anniversary of the D-Day landings. The famous B-17 Sally B flew overhead. It is with great sadness that I report the sudden death of Jeff Stanton in early July 2007.